Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and this is Expedition 3 Pages. So I'm actually participating in a few things in March. Firstly, my own TBR game that I'm playing with a whole load of you guys, which is really fun, Tales from Two Trails. If you don't know what that is, I'd absolutely love for you to go and check it out. It's basically a TBR game, but there are teams involved and yeah, it's a whole load of fun. So we'd love to have you if you would like to join. I'm also joining in with Roll of Reads Readathon this year. Again, I absolutely love this readathon, so I'm playing it, I think this might be the third time, although I don't know how successful I've been on previous years, but I always do try to play it in some kind of way because it's such a good readathon. And this readathon is hosted by Mel from a book fiend named Mel. I will link down to her channel with the announcement video where she will go over all the rules and everything like that if you are interested. There's still time to join in with that as well, even though this TBR is going to go up late. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you how Roll of Reads went for me. And then I will share with you the rest of my TBR. So as you can see, when I rolled the D8, I rolled a six. And this told me how many rolls I have to do in the game initially. So I will cut to the, the first roll now. Okay, so the first role got me read a gifted book. I think it was gifted or book subscription, but I chose gifted because I don't have any books. That's actually not true. Anyway, doesn't matter. I chose a gifted book. And the book that I chose for that was The Cat Who Saved Books by Suzuki Natsukawa. And yeah, I'm actually already started this. I started this yesterday. As soon as I could, I started it. I'm currently halfway through and I'm actually really enjoying it. I was a bit apprehensive about this one. This book I actually got for a secret Santa. It was a family secret Santa, not like a work one, but I was still a bit apprehensive because it's not typically the type of book I read, but actually I'm really enjoying it so far. <laughs> Roll number two got me poll pick. So I put a poll up on YouTube and got you guys to vote. And the book that won was The City of Frost by S.A. Chakraborty, which I was really, really pleased about because I really, really wanted to get it on this TBR. This book is the first book in the David Bad trilogy and March is the month that the read-along begins. So I'm actually co-hosting a read-along for this series alongside a book fiend named Mel, actually, Manny from Reading with Manny and also Emily from Emily Beth Hall. So I'm really, really excited about that. We have a Discord. I will link it in the description if you would like to join us. We've literally just started, like, this is the second day. So yeah, very, very happy about that. And I did actually read one chapter <laughs> last night and already can tell I'm going to really like this. I'm so intrigued already. Role number three got me set somewhere I've been. And so for this, I've decided to go for The Foundling by Stacey Halls. This is actually a library book that I've got, hence the reflection from the plastic. But this is actually a book club book that I have on the go at the moment. I'm due to finish this on the 24th of March, so I should definitely get this one finished. And yeah, this book is set in London, so this counts. It's a historical fiction. I don't really know too much about it. It's called A Foundling, so I assume there's a child that's found. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'll find out soon. So the next prompt was Bookamon, which is a readathon, I believe, that's going on at the moment. And 
it did say in the rules if you're not participating in Book of Bookamon, then you could choose a different reader font you're participating in. I did try and see if I could find the prompts for Bookamon, but to be honest, I was a bit confused when I looked it up. So yeah, I've bypassed that. And instead I've chosen Aldia. So Year in Aldia, which is the year long challenge based in the magical readathon realm. And that is created by G from Book Roast, as I'm sure most of you probably know. Anyway, on my path, this time I have to read a book that intimidates me. So start or continue a series that intimidates you, that's the prompt. And so for this, I am finally going to get to The Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie. This is the very last book in the First Law trilogy. I read the first two and I did like them. I did like them. <laughs> but there were things about them that I didn't like. Even though I do think the audiobook's very good, I did find them a slight slog. So I'm pretty intimidated by this because this is absolutely huge. It's bigger than the other two. Actually, it's not as many pages as I thought it was going to be. Is that where's... The... I don't want to look too much. I don't want to see the ending. The end of the book goes to 695 pages but I don't know when the story finishes. But yeah, so this is what I'm gonna read for that prompt because this definitely does intimidate me. It's a very violent series and sometimes I, I, I can take it and sometimes I'm like, this is too much. Stop now, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how this one goes. This is apparently supposed to be the best one in the series. So I am excited for that. So I do have slightly higher expectations than how I felt during the rest of the series. And then I got friend pick and for this one I actually got in contact with Manny from Reading with Manny and asked her to choose me a book. So Manny very kindly suggested that I read In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune which I'm very excited about. This looks absolutely huge. This is a very large book heavy TBR. I've never read any TJ Klune before so I'm very very excited and I believe Manny has read this and really really enjoyed it as well so yeah I'm excited to get to it. I don't know what it's about. I don't tend to like look up book synopsis before I read them. So yeah, I think it's sci-fi, even though it kind of looks fantasy. I think there's something about robots that live in these trees, but maybe I've made that up. So finally we've got trans and non-binary rep and this is something that I don't actually have on my shelves so I looked on Everend and I saw that they have the audiobook for Pet by Kweke Meze. so I'm going to listen to this this month. I've actually read nothing by Kweke Meze, so I'm very excited that this prompt has prompted me to read this one. Again, I'm not going over synopsis, I'm just kind of giving you the lowdown on what I plan to read. <laughs> okay, so already on the TBR are these five books and also Pet by Aquaki Meze. I do think Pet is quite a short book and The Cat Who Saved the Books is short, but the others are pretty massive. So <laughs> I'm already in trouble. Right, I'm gonna move on now to Tales from Two Trails. So I am on team B and the first prompt that we got this month was Fire-Bellied Toad. <laughs> so this was a random animal uh, and yeah, this basically is a prompt which means you have to kind of go by the animal's personality in some way, what type of animal it is, the colours on the animal, where the animal may appear often in stories, things like that. You can be very creative with this prompt. It's very open. But the book that I am going to read for this prompt is Homegoing by Yar Jassy. And this is because when I googled Firebelly Toad, it said that their underbellies were very, very colourful with typically reds, yellows and blacks on their on their bellies and this works perfectly for that. This is also the team book for Team B so when I read this I will get a couple of extra points. This is total spoilers for Tales from Two Trails the game in March by the way so if you wanted to watch how that TBR game went before hearing what books I picked then I will link it down in the description for you to be able to do that but the second prompt that we got was to read a book that either the title starts with the letter M or the author's surname starts with the letter M and just coincidentally I'm already reading an audiobook that fits that prompt. 
So I'm going to use for this A Man With One Of Those Faces by Cueve McDonald. This is like a crime book set in Dublin. So yeah, this one is pretty fast paced and there's quite high stakes and there's quite humorous so like there's quite a humorous base to the story like the reason why everything kicks off is based on a choice that the main character has made that is pretty funny it does feel a bit dated though in times and I, it does feel a little bit like the women get a bit of a bum deal but i'll see how it finishes so the last prompt for team b was to read a book with multiple perspectives and for this luckily i can use a book that's already on the pile so i'm going to use the last argument of kings for this one because this does follow a whole load of different characters and there are actually three main characters i think but you also hear from other characters as well so it's definitely very multi-perspective this book so yeah i'm really hoping by putting this on for aldia roll of reeds and tales from two trails will mean that i do finish it because is long. So those are the books I have planned. There is one more book that I do want to add to the TBR and that is because last month I picked a book off my TBR at, at random and I ended up loving that book and I gave it five stars. I'll talk about it more when I do a wrap up. And yeah every single month this year I do want to just add to my TBR one book that's already on my shelves that I have no say over. And so I've upgraded my TBR mug to this massive bag <laughs> that we got a Chris, uh, not Christmas present, well maybe it was a Christmas present. It was a present that someone gave us and it came in this nice bag. So of course I'm using it for my TBR jar. <laughs> it's not really a jar, I can't call it that anymore, but anyway, so all my books on my shelves are here. I've got audiobooks, Kindle books and physical books on here, everything. So yeah, it's gonna be completely random. I'm very excited. I really, really wanna know what the book is and I really, really hope it's not massive. I kind of don't want it to be non-fiction, but I don't have any non-fiction on here. If it is non-fiction, please don't be over 400 pages. <laughs> okay, let's go with this green one. I'm scared. This always scares me, but it is fun. Okay, I'll show you guys first. Oh, okay. This is the possibility principle. Well, let me go get that. Okay, here is the possibility principle by Mel Schwartz. And this I'm pretty apprehensive about, I won't lie. The tagline at the top says, how quantum physics can improve the way you think, live and love. Now, I love physics and I love thinking about quantum physics. I don't know if I love thinking about quantum physics in a more philosophical way or in a way that's gonna make comparisons that maybe I don't quite agree with, if you know what I mean. I don't know, like, I'm judging it way before I've read it. Maybe I will love this one. I just kind of worried that I'm gonna read the book and then it's gonna feel like a stretch. Like they're gonna take a quantum physics concept and then really eke it out to like connect it to the human experience. <laughs> And that might annoy me. I don't know. So we'll see how it goes. It's weird actually because today I was tidying up my bookshelf and I was thinking oh I should try and get to this one at some point soon. So there we go. So thank you TBR basket, TBR bag. I appreciate your suggestion and at the very least we'll find out if I have to DNF this and give it away or not. Okay here are all the books on the TBR. It's a very big stack. I feel like March does always feel like quite a long month. So maybe, maybe I can get through these. Maybe, right? <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, whatever happens, I'm super, super excited to get to these books and yeah, read them. It also like, I own them all apart from the Foundling. So it will mean a whole load of my shelf will turn from unread to read if I do get to them and that's pretty exciting. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Mel for hosting Roll of Reads and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.